FNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 194, NASDAQ down 79, S&P's up 7. You get holiday trading, folks. You get volatility. You can expect the same thing tomorrow as well as Friday. Gold. Gold contract down $15.50 trading at 1790 an ounce. Silver down 62 cents, $23.66 an ounce. Late sweet crude up two bucks. That is totally counterintuitive. You get six different countries going to release uh, the, from their strategic stockpiles, but guess what? Oil wants higher price. They're buying it. It's going higher. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note down nine ticks, trading 129.22, the 30 year off a full point, plus 10 ticks at 159 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 52 ticks, trading 96,496. Euro 112, the yen at 115, the British pound at 133 to 1 US dollar. We get open, we take a look at the SPY, folks. Bottom line, you get a sideways move. You're still at highs. You rejected lower price today on the SPY at 464. You had 65 million shares traded, and we were going into 69 million. You closed above that bar, which is the top of the bar, folks, is 467.38. So what we did is this. You'll hear me talking about testing all the time, okay? The bottom line is that the SPY went down into the bar, rejected lower price, and closed above the high of the bar. When you have that, bottom line, shoot right back topside. And my point on this is that because the SPY had so much volume yesterday, it's going to go back and get tested. So I expect what we're going to see is you're going to see a rally, and we're going to get up to this 473. We'll see whether they're going to blow that 473 away. NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Little different situation. You can see it. The Qs, they have heavier volume. They got the lower price. They finished in the middle of the range. So the Qs are telling me that, hey, man, you know, you can actually get down to this 487, 387. And if that's what we have, then you do have three black crows. That's how this will set up. Three black crows, again, it's a candlestick charting. Google the deal. Most of the time, what you see happen with a three black crow is this. You go a little bit lower, then you come back up and test them, and then, yes, you have a very large correction. Three black crows, um, that's it. That's, when they work, they're pretty bearish. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock. Have a great one, folks. Yeah, look at them. <laughs>